In this video, we'll write the name for pH 3. pH 3 is often called phosphine, but you really can't figure that out just by looking at the formula here. You'd have to really memorize that. If you're asked to write the name, though, in a very general chemistry course, they're probably looking for something a little bit different. So we'll use these rules here. First off, we know that we have a molecular compound because we have two nonmetals. If you look at the periodic table here, you'll see phosphorus and then hydrogen. They're both nonmetals. So we have two nonmetals. It's a molecular compound, and we'll use the rules right here to write the name. So first we'll write the name phosphorus. And then for the H, that's hydrogen. And we're going to change the ending of the second element right here to IDE. Now we need to show how many of each atom here we have. So we have one phosphorus. So for the first element, you don't do anything if you only have one. It's just phosphorus. For the hydrogen, we have three. Three, that uses the prefix tri. So we're going to call this phosphorus trihydride. So the name for pH 3 is phosphorus trihydride. And we're using the prefixes because we have a molecular compound, the two nonmetals. Do remember that often, though, you'll see it written as phosphine. This is Dr. B with the name for pH 3. Thanks for watching.